Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today, um, it, this won't be a full review. This is just an introduction of my new, uh, brand new Fluke 1587 FC insulation tester. I just want to give you guys a quick peek at it and I'll tell you all about what's to come. The, video, the videos that's going to be coming uh, with this, uh, uh, my new Fluke. Right now, you see it? I'm going to open it up for you guys. There we are. Okay. This is my brand new Fluke 1587 FC insulation tester. This is uh, this is a tablet here that I put in here. When I can make my note, uh, make my notations. Uh, when I'm testing something, I can write down whatever I need to write down. Uh, that's a tablet I keep in here. This is the the um, the packaging that they give you. I guess with all the you know the software. Uh, I guess a user manual on the see on the disc right here and got the paperwork. Never been opened. Uh, over here is uh, aside from this one and this one. This is what comes with it. You get uh, the probe itself. You get two uh, alligator clips right here. You get the uh, thermocouple. You get a set of set of test leads and a remote probe. Now the uh, the uh, Velcro come from me, and I, I just put them around my meters. And I bought these Velcro this Velcro from Fluke a long time ago. But this is an extra uh, remote probe that I bought. I bought this for my ideal industry uh, 61-797 insulation tester. And I thought it could fit because it looked the same. So I bought it, but it doesn't fit. And as I was watching uh, one of the other stations, a um, station by um, entitled Preface, that's the name of his two YouTube station. I was watching a YouTube friend of mine, his videos, and I seen that he had one of these too. And he put it inside of his uh, fluke, and I believe it was fluke. Yeah, and it worked. Um, or, no, I think he used a fluke probe inside of the Unity. That's what happened. Inside of his Unity insulation tester, and it, and it fit. So I just said, well, I'm going to hold on to this. Cause I knew I was going to get me one of these sooner or later, uh, the 1587. So I held on to it, and, you know, by golly, it, it, it does fit. So now I have two. I have a spare, a spare one. And these... This is the TL27 heavy duty leads, test leads that I purchased a, a couple of days ago, along with a pack, uh, some other stuff from Fluke. But anyway, this is my new um, Fluke 1587. This is one hell of a meter. I tell you that one hell of a meter. I am over pleased at having this meter. And I know you're probably gonna wonder what this is. I put this on here because I took the I took the protective uh, the protective covering over the glass. I took that off. Because it was coming up on one side. It wouldn't, for some reason, it'll stay down for a couple of day, hours. It didn't come up or whatever. So I pulled it off, and I didn't want uh, to scratch the glass up, um, the screen up. So, because me, it cost too much money. So I didn't want to scratch the screen up. So I said, well, I'm going to put something on it to help protect it when I close it. You know, because this it's kind of loose in here already. And I didn't want it to be bouncing around and hitting against, when, when this wasn't here, hitting against the plastic and have all kind of scratch marks on it. So... I cut some foam out and I glued it to there. So now when I close it like this, it's, it's, it's protecting the meter. It's holding the meter stationary in one spot. And when I'm in motion with it, when I'm mobile, it won't be sliding around because the pressure from this closed, it's going to hold it in one spot. So that's, that was, that's why I put that there also. But this is going to protect the screen from getting all kind of marks on it and, and whatever, what have you. So this is... Uh, this is my new Fluke 1587, and I just wanted, wanted to introduce it to you guys because um, there's going to be some more videos following this meter. Uh, I'm going to be comparing it with some other uh, insulation tests that I do have. Um, the limit, uh, there are going to be some limited tests because my space here is not as big. You know, I'm working off this little lab tape that I have for my son. Um, it's not as big, so but I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a few little tests with it, enough that. Uh, you know, if you guys was interested in it, you know, you could, this will help you make your determination if you determine if you want one or not. 
but uh, I am very pleased with this multi meat this insulation tester. Very pleased with it, as it, with all the Flukes products that I have. So I just wanted to just let you guys see. I want to thank you for allowing me to take your time up, hit the subscribe button, stay tuned for what's to come. Uh, also, uh, leave leave a comment if you choose to. Hit that like button, share it. Also, um, with that being said, uh, peace out to you guys and take care.